Hi uh, everybody, my name is Wesley Hammond, I'm from Beat the Billison Banks and Beat the Bailiff is one team North West, uh, stand for common law and our YouTube channel is www.stand-common-law.org.uk So I'm just going to ring the BBC TV licence fee, I'm um, just updating my records and I'm going to remove the implied right of access. So. Let's see how it pans out. Should be interesting to see uh, how they react or what they'll do. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling TV licensing. Your call may be recorded to help audit and continuously improve our services. If you'd like to listen to a short summary of how TV licensing will use your data, please press zero now. No thanks, I don't want anybody to share my data. Did you know that you can complete most transactions online at tvlicensing.co.uk? No transactions to will be your existing taken license, today. Press 1. To buy a new license, press 2. To change the address on your license, press 3. If you are aged over 74 and would like to apply for the over 75 license, press 4. Not yet. Or for anything else, press 5. It's Wesley Hammond. Oh, did you say license holder or the I'm actually the owner, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I'm the owner, yeah. Alright, is there a contact mobile number I can take for you, please? No, I won't give out any of my phone numbers. No, no problem. My name is Debbie, what can I do for you? Hey Debbie. No, it's just to um update your details, that's all. That's okay, what we updating? I still don't is it, is it no license? It's no license yet. Some people have got a life, you see. <laughs> they don't have to watch that, that, watch that crap on the telly. It's not that. Did you see that the shootings yesterday in France? They're all fake. The Paris one. Yeah. Not, uh, I don't know. I don't well, have you seen the videos on YouTube? You see where they're actually missing. You know where he's supposed to have shot him in the head? There was a video where they, they rewound it and let it go forward and rewound it and let it go forward. And you can see him clearly. You can see, You can clearly see him missing. Propaganda. Okay, so I've registered the license to claim your property. Uh, you will receive a license to confirm this, but I do need to let you know that an inquiry officer may call to verify the information. Um, if you have not used the TV equipment when they're not to let the license, we can't be signed up to a thousand pounds. Okay. Um, Alright, Simon, that's all done. Can I just remove your implied rights of access as well? Because I believe, does, okay, does that. Does that... Can I do that? Yeah, does that actually work that implied right of access? Yeah. Yeah, does that actually work, that implied right of access? Um, apparently so, yeah. It's just that I don't yeah. want strangers walking, walking on my yeah. property, that's all. Alright, alright, bear with me a second, I'll wait for it. Okay, yeah. thank you. So it does work. There you have it. Confirmation. BBC TV licence paedophile bill. So what are going to do about institutional paedophilia? within the government, MPs, pedo minister, pedo minister, West monster, Royals, Prince Andrew, all the propaganda like I just stated there in France, and people fall for that shit. Hello, my name's Dennis, I'm from the Customer Specialist Team. How can I help 
I had a list. Uh, somebody told me that um, if I, I don't, I don't need a license to begin with. But somebody mentioned that I could, I can use an. Is it called an implied rights of access removal? And does it, ex and does it exist? Because somebody was telling me it does exist, and it. Right. Yeah, but how can if you if you I'm just cu you're curious of how it works. Just so how can they knock on knock on if the implied right of access has been removed? Oh, a warrant. Right, okay. Uh, right. It makes it be a very informal process to be in a very formal process. Unfortunately, the stuff on the internet says that if you don't want to buy TV devices, do this, and it's a magic wand. Unfortunately, we know that this isn't the case, and I will advise people to get in trouble because of it, because it doesn't do what it says on the tin. All right, so, no, because people are saying that it does actually work, so I'm just yeah. curious if it, if it did or it didn't. We all disagree with that. Yeah. Yeah, because what I was thinking is if, if, if people are asking to, to remove the implied right of access, it's giving you a heads up to the fact that there could be something... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> which doesn't make, se which doesn't make sense to me. I was only, I was just, so again, I was, it's not actually, it's not a good suit, it's, again, people use it for, um, it's mainly for people with like loads of difficulties or mental health issues, where a portion of property may not be the best thing, the people who just walk up and say, I'm not watching TV, I want to do this, well, we still have to investigate as part of the QQ, the communication act, that's what we actually have to do, yeah. we have to investigate every address, so the moment someone says, well, you can't visit my address, well, we immediately say, well, we you want to report separate part, so we have to do a formal investigation, that's all it becomes. Yeah, so, I mean, what, so it applies for, like, the vulnerable people? What website is that called again? I don't know. There's a few of them. Um, I, I know it from a few, but unfortunately I won't give out that information because, again, the information is incorrect on there. And I do know it's incorrect on there because they also say things like an act of parliament is not law and so on, which, of course, it is. Otherwise, everyone who's held in Her Majesty's prison would be... Oh, well, I, yeah, I know, I know about acts and statues because um, acts and statues only uh, come into force if you consent to be governed. It's not. <laughs> And he 
all that if the judges in the EPA find that it is unlawful or illegal, they will remove it. So again, it's the idea that this is the case. Unfortunately, you have to get a judge to agree with you, and no judge has ever agreed to that in the world. No, so, no. Again, but it goes a bit deeper than that, doesn't it? It goes back about three or four hundred years for the Magna Carta. Right. I wouldn't I would trust the Magna Carta with anything, unfortunately, sir, because it was the first idea of a uh, written, um, written set of uh, rules for the uh, hierarchy. It wasn't for people like you and myself. Yeah, it for the barons, you mean. The barons. But unfortunately, it also states on there that no man can be held um, on uh, held uh, in court on the word of woman unless that is on the murder of her husband, which means women have got no rights according to the Magna Carta. So again, the idea... The ideas are there, they're, they're very convincing arguments that this is the idea that, that you have to consent to a law. But by consent, it just means that you vote for your parliament, you choose who's in government, you be part of the community. That's all it means by consent. It doesn't mean the idea that you have to say, yes, I take to this law or not, because there's that many out there. You'd spend your, uh, your young life going through, well, do you want to follow this one, do you want to follow that one? Women wouldn't even have the right to do so, because they didn't get the vote or any rights until the representation of the people acted in 19... 18, I think it is, or 1920 or something. It's very early on in the 20th century before they got the, any powers at all. So the idea that this is the case is very convincing because of the way it's worded, but unfortunately it's, it's not accurate because the simple fact is, well, if that was the case, drink driving would be legal. Slavery is an act of parliament, not a law, which makes it legal. Makes well, it legal. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's the whole idea, the idea that one part of it would be that and one part of it isn't, it, it, it doesn't make sense. No, no, do you know about the, um, you know, you seem to know quite a little, a bit. Do you know uh, about the Lisbon Treaty, what took effect in 2001? When um, the Lisbon Treaty, in 2001, uh, I think it was Blair and the Queen, the monarchy, had uh, sold us out to the Lisbon Treaty. And then the, last year, on November the 1st, um, we've lost all common law rights now because the EU took, took control... <laughs> Mm. Unfortunately, a lot of the education of what common law is has come from the American one because I keep on getting, I have people quoting me Black's Book of Law. Yeah, the American Constitution. Uh, well, unfortunately, Black's Book of Law is the American one. We use the House, uh, the House Based Book of UK Law in, in England, and so uh, it's one of these common misconceptions. So, UK common law is completely different to um, other countries. UK common law is basically any judgment which is been sitting court is common law. That's how it works. It's judgments made in court become common law. That's the common judgments the judges should make. That's the federal law. UK common law is. That's why it's used so effectively. That's why Scotland and uh, the UK actually have two different versions of uh, England and Scotland have two different common laws because of the judgments made in their areas. So the actual, um, the idea of common law in the UK is basically if it's been seen in court, judgments made in judgments on it, it's common law. That's how it works. It still stands. It still will override because you can say, well, no, you can't do this because the judge has said that this isn't and they would have to try to do it that way. So again, the idea of common law and the Lisbon Treaty, there's, there's a lot of panic over it in Euroscepticism and so on, which I can't really comment on. I would just state that, that a lot of understanding of how the UK legal system works, unfortunately, is through hearsay and not through um, the correct procedures. Um, again, I've got a lot of friends who actually are uh, lawyers and sol well, solicitors uh, calling the lawyer and I go, hey, I have to buy a drink, unfortunately. Um, yeah, again, but, uh, again, the information which is available online is completely different to what the actual information will be. Um, but again, what people read on online, you'll get so many people saying, yes, it works, yes, it works, yes, it works. Unfortunately, until one of them can prove them, go, yes, it works, here's a court transcript. I won't believe them. I won't see actual evidence that this has been successful until it's actually believable for me. Yeah, but the only, the only problem is with our with our courts, i.e. Um, trial by jury, most of, most, of the, most, of the, well, most of the magistrates' courts and the county courts now have been hijacked by the corporations. You know that, don't you? Actually, no, again, this is untrue. This is, this is down to the fact that they are all registered covers companies, and there's a reason for that. They deal with finance. The UK is registered as a company. Every country in the world... Oh, no, the Crown's a company, yeah, that's right. But, but this, it's not because it's a company, it's because they're dealing with finances. They have bills to pay, so it, it, it registers a company so that you can then transmit money between certain parties much quicker. That's all it's for. Right? It's nothing to do with that it is actually a registered company. It's not. Well, did you know, I know that, yeah, but do you know the corporations? The corporations have took over this country. And the problem with, with um, corporations, they've got no um, responsibility or accountability. Again, this is even the police, even the police are a corporation now. No, well, no, they're not. They're no, they are. Check it out. Honestly, God, the police are a corporation. Again, you, yeah, you're, looking, you're looking at the company's registers. Uh, no, 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 listen, listen, let me tell you something. Let me, let me, well, let me, just let me explain something. My, my cousin got shot dead. 
in 2012 by Greater Manchester Police. Right? Still there? Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Go. Yeah, well, and what happened What happened last year is that they've charged Sir Peter Fayer, he was the head, head of Greater Manchester Police, um, and they've charged him as the sole entity of the corporation, which means he'll go on trial, but he doesn't... It, it, because it's a corporation, they've watered the trial down that much. What they've done is, he doesn't even have to step one foot in the courtroom. So if he gets found not guilty, now bear in mind he got only got charged because of his police officers. Uh, yeah, that's, a that's, a personal, that's a personal circumstance. How it no, no, listen. No, but just, 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 just hear me out. The, the police around the car, right, are in breach of health and safety because the police officer who shot my cousin dead shot him through the windscreen of his car. And the police were around the car when he, they shot him dead. So he's only been charged. He's not. He's, he's not. Listen. He's not been charged for the killing of my cousin because it states that they have no duty of care of the general public. They've only got duty of care of the people who work within the corporation. So anyway, so if, if it. No, no, but I'm just saying. But if it. No, no, I know. I'm just saying. But if listen, listen. If he gets found not guilty, or if he gets found guilty. Just through the health and safety breach, what happens is the taxpayer pays the fine, and that fine goes back into a justice system where you can't get justice from. And that's what. Okay, you... That's how you deal with the system, sir. But again, what I would state is the police are registered as a company, but it's because they're moving details down. And the reason he would be in charge as the head of the entity, the company, is because it's the Metropolitan Police and Procedures. It's not, it's not one person who will have made that decision. If it was, he would be stood there by himself. It would be he ignored orders and so on. If it's come through, they, they don't have to work that way. They can go through different circumstances. That's the reason why I know it's a very appealing argument for people to say that these companies and so on, unfortunately, the evidence itself does not support that with the evidence I have seen. I trust the information I can get my hands on, physical evidence I can see. People stuff has happened. I don't trust, unfortunately. I need to see the evidence. Now, every single uh, court case in the UK, whether they be in the French Stress Court or within a... Uh, in the... Uh, Crown Court. It's transcripted every single court case. They have to be in the public knowledge, the public record. So if you went to a court and said there was this trial, this one camera record, and then you transcript again, they go, I don't get to. There's not a single case where someone stated that actually not a law that has ever been put in the UK. They've always been told that if they continue with that argument, they'll be done with, uh, and what's people have been chilled for saying it, they get done for it. It's not something that we should recognise. There's, of course, in Canada, people have tried it. Um, well, it's not, it's not a contempt of court, and it they're getting done for. Yeah, but you should always you should always stay yeah, you should always honour the judge and never refuse his questions, but there's a way of answering the questions in there. No, some people have got a life, you know, you know. I know, yeah, that was a great conversation. What do you think about all the paedophilia taking place at the minute with the MPs and everything? And all the institutional paedophilia? Right, okay, no problem. Nice to talk to you. Thank you, Okay, cheers. Bye. Bye. So there you go. It's quite knowledgeable. I don't know what he's talking about. Did all the talking, really. I didn't even have to say much. So, that's it. I've queried it. If you ask to remove the implied right of access, it works. They don't come crawl crawling. Um, if you have got a TV, I suggest you go and throw it in the bin. Because it's a load of propaganda bollocks anyway. Uh, and that's it, basically.
jumped up. So my name is Wesley Ahmed. Welcome back.